<laughs> all right what's up guys we're finally here at autocon we're gonna take a look at all the cars see what's interesting so let's head on in there yeah there we go thanks man ooh, 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 ooh. damn Already seeing something pretty amazing. We've seen this already before. I don't think we've seen this one, this one yet. yet. Liberty Walk GTR. We've seen that CCC3 AMG. Jeez. Team Elevate, bro. Spent some time here at the event. Most of the cars here we've seen, we've we've seen already at like meets like Super Street, Stan Station, like those type of meets. But we haven't. But there's actually a lot of cars we haven't seen yet. Like um, specifically those trucks. Like we never go to meets. Wait, hold on. <laughs> there's like people screaming in the background. But we haven't seen trucks yet. They're pretty interesting, but not really my type. Like you know, not my forte. But there's a car here I want you guys to check out specifically. It's my favorite here so far. Is this one, the Nissan Skyline R34. Oh my god. This one is the only one here at this at this car show and it's absolutely immaculate especially in this blue, you know, Rip Paul Walker. But just how amazing this thing is. Like it does have a presence like that any that no other car can really compare to in my opinion like I was like immediately drawn to this thing even more than the Lambo what would you guys take would you guys take this or would you guys take the Lambo cuz to be honest like I can't really choose cuz this thing this is so legendary it's really hard to pass up on and it just has like such an iconic look Wow, definitely a car I would I would definitely get if I had the money, especially in this blue. I think it's called Bayside Blue. A lot of interesting cars here, definitely. A lot of wide body kit cars, starting to see those more and more often, like with this generation. Right now, it's kind of like towards the end of the event, so they're announcing the winners of like the, the car show, like who did like the best car, basically. Uh, they're like doing pull-ups. They're like doing pull-ups over there. <laughs> looks, looks kind of, looks a lot like a lot of fun. Yeah, everyone's cleaning up now because it's towards the end of the event. Oh, that's insane! I didn't even see that one yet. There's so many cars here to look at. I uh, can't really go over all of them, but this is the one that I wanted to look at right here. It's an all carbon fiber WRX. That's insane. 
Excuse me? Has this whole thing have been rebodied re in carbon fiber or is it an overlay? Uh, so certain parts like the fenders, the bumpers, the hood, the actual full carbon pieces. Yeah. Doors, the quarter panels, doors, it's overlay. It's overlay? So it's still real carbon fiber, right? But it's oh, kind of yeah. like... Uh, I guess it would be more cool into like a paint job because you're sanding it down, prepping it, laying the fabric, resin. Uh -huh. Oh really? You're right. You're laying that right on the door? Yeah. Oh wow, that sounds pretty complicated yeah. and intricate. <laughs> yeah. Really awesome talking to that guy. So some of the parts were overlay, but a lot of the parts are also like straight carbon fiber, like re replace like the hood and the fenders and stuff like that. But it did take two years, but everything's real carbon fiber. Absolutely insane. Five motorsports, like, you know, if you want to check them out. Uh, 2,300 miles on the car, so little. Other than that, this meet is, you know, nothing really much to say about it other than it's really cool. Nothing in like, particular that really stands out except for the amount of cars that are here. Probably gonna end it right here. So thank you guys for watching this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Oh, for sure need to do this to my van. Jesus. Oh my God. Yes.